Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking. If you saw my video last week was the Shytek M200 intervention video. I mentioned at the end of that that we're gonna make a video titled Call of Duty Guns in Real Life because of course my most viewed video is PUBG Guns in Real Life. That one's done a little over 50 million views. Below that's Fortnite Guns in Real Life. I did Modern Warfare Guns a little while ago. Uh, that might have been too specific. I say we do the broad Call of Duty Guns in Real Life by the great idea of once again cameraman Ian. So we're going to go ahead and run through this. A couple of guns you've seen before, quite a few that you haven't actually, some that I actually wanted specific for this video. We could do a quick once over, a quick little pan. I won't go specifically on each one at the beginning, but we're, we're definitely going to shoot all of them. I'm going to tell you what maybe the game calls it and what they are in real life. Some of them are exactly the right gun uh, as used in the game. And some of them are kind of, uh, you know, had to work around it just a little bit, but we've got a pretty cool selection. I think last time I counted, I think we're at 27 guns for the Call of Duty gun video, or 26 guns. We'll find out, it's a pretty good array. Let's go ahead and just get started. Get some eyes and ears on and uh, have some fun. This is a new one, one of the ones I was talking about that you haven't seen yet. First shots with it. This is actually a Springfield Armory 1911 Defend Your Legacy series. It's one of their more economic ones, but seems really cool. Can't wait to shoot it. Obviously, it's gonna represent the 1911, which they had in multiple of Call of Duty games. Let's load it up real quickly. Actually, a good opportunity to thank our sponsor, ETS, or Elite Tactical Systems, makes loading up our mags way easier. They also make mags too, but we got some rounds of 45 ACP. Load it up in here. I think I only did five. But yeah, speed loaders for 45 ACP, 9 millimeter. They make rifle stuff, all kinds of fun stuff. But we got five rounds of 45 ACP in a good old fashioned, old school looking 1911. First shots with that guy. Uh, look out, I think in maybe about three videos from now, I'm gonna do a full video on this guy, but that's a really cool 1911. Let's move on. All right, up next we got the M9 as the game called it, but we have two different flavors. This is actually an Italian police buyback from the 70s, I think, or early 80s. Oh, that thing's pretty sweet. Let's go to something a wee bit more modern. Try not to trip on all these guns here. And we put a can on this one. This is a rugged obsidian 45, but it works on nine millimeter. Beretta M9A3, run in suppressed. Shoot away from the steel so you can hear how quiet that is. Quiet, because I know you can suppress them in the game, so why not in real life? X16, in real life, uh, this is actually just a nine millimeter Glock 19. Best I could do. Game calls it the M19. In real life, it's a six tower P320 uh, M17. Leupold Delta Point Pro on top. The game's got a revolver in the form of a 357 Magnum. This is a Smith and Wesson 686 Plus. Smith and Wesson 44 Magnum. This is a Stealth Hunter. Represents, I'm sure the game's got a 44 Magnum as well. Revolver. Again, we'll go single action, then double. performance triggers way, way smoother. All right, this is a Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum. I wasn't gonna use it for this video. Cameraman Ian last minute told me that there is a, a revolver, powerful, more powerful than the 44 Magnum. I don't know what he's talking about. Maybe he just wants me to hurt myself, but we got three shots with the 500 Magnum in case it represents a big revolver in the game that I'm not aware of. I'm sure you guys will tell me about it. I didn't totally mean to hit the target, but Nothing safe downrange. All right, moving on. Of course, had to, had to. Gold Desert Eagle, uh, one of my favorites from COD 4, if I'm honest. Probably wouldn't have this gun if it wasn't because of COD 4. Three shots, 50 AE. Get yourself a Deagle. All right, same excuse as when I made the uh, PUBG part one and part two. Uh, PP19 Bison, it's an AK 9mm, I don't have an actual cylindrical uh, chambered fully automatic PP19 Bison, that's like incredibly rare. Uh, but I have an AKV from Palmetto State Armory, it's an AK and 9mm, kind of sweet. Let's, uh, let's get out of world. Another exception here, UMP, whether it's a UMP9 or UMP45, I think the Grand Power Strybog from Global Ordnance kind of has that look, especially with the suppressor. Again, we're running the same 
uh, rugged obsidian 45 on a nine millimeter, but kind of cool look, pretty darn sweet. Make sure that's nice and tight. I made a full review on this guy and the new SB9A3 uh, delayed blowback. I just got my hands on, look out for a video on that next month, very soon here. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want more content on this, already made a video on it, let's move on. And the last of the sub gun category, it's a CMMG Mark 10, 10 millimeter Banshee. It's an AR pistol type configuration. In the game, there's an AR9. Do I have an AR9? AR 10 millimeter, close enough, right? All right, dual load competition. Ah, there we go. Bro, bro you shoot three gun? No, nah, I'm just kind of like a, you know, going for John Wick type role. Son of a, all right, cool. This is a Remington 870. It's a pump action shotgun. I'm sure they have pump action shotguns in there. Ian told me that there is a model 870 in there, so sweet. The R90 or the R90, whatever they call it, it's a DP12. Double barrel, pump action, 18 inch barrel, uh, 12 gauge shotgun. Moving on to the carbines, uh, the kind of full length rifles. This will just represent an M4 carbine, pretty much. It's an AR-15 from PSA. We did a stress test on this last summer. That's why it looks kind of banged up. Oh yeah, I was just about to shoot steel. This is armor penetrating around, so I'm just gonna dump them into the rocks. Oh, after everything it's been through, still kicking. All right, you recognize that silhouette. That's a good old M16, specifically in real life. This is a Brownells BRN16 retro series, so it's a new rifle with a good old M16 look. How attracted are you to this lens? Oh no, I have a filter on there. <laughs> okay, it's good. Bushmaster ACR to represent the ACR. This is the third or fourth rifle I've ever bought, believe it or not. And I've had it since 2017 and I love it. All right, again, armor penetrating, so right into the rocks. This thing's so slick. I believe they stopped making the ACR, so they're very hard to come by. You can bet I'm holding on to this one for a very long time. This is going to serve as the M14. It's a Springfield Armory SOCOM 16, 16 inch barreled M1A. It is actually the first of two M1As in this video. The other one you'll see in just a bit. We move on to the DMRs. But anyway, still on the carbine type things, M14 will be a SOCOM 16. Ooh, that feels good. All that concussion of a uh, 308, but Super controllable. All right, Springfield Armory, SOCOM 16, M14. SCAR 17, game calls it a SCAR Heavy. 17S, S for semi-automatic for the civilian market, but it's a SCAR as we know and love it. That's a Vortex Razor HD uh, Gen 3, just for you guys uh, wondering. All right, moving up to uh, sniper rifles, including in this will be DMRs, uh, but snipers. Car 98K, eight millimeter. Miles are car 98K, gonna load up four shots here and uh, let it rip here. Whew, this thing's slippery. You gotta clean that off. Anyway, beast of a rifle. What's gonna be the Dragonov is not a real Dragonov, it's a Romanian PSL. Most people say it's a Dragonov. It's not fundamentally, but hey, it looks pretty close. All right, again, just gonna go on some rocks here. This thing is such a smoky gun. I found where it throws brass. Oh, <laughs> caught it. All right, this is the second M1A of today. This is the Mark 14 or M14 EBR. Um, this is a build I'm working on. I'm just waiting on an optic, but Hey, it's still an EBR, we can still shoot it. All right, so the M40 and the M24 are pretty much at its core a Remington 700 action. 
This is a true Remington 700 action. It's a custom rifle though, Alamo Precision Rifle Ranger in 6.5 Creedmoor, so not a 308, but whatever, deal with it. Another compromise, this is a Remington 700 in an Accuracy International AICS chassis system. So it has all the look of an L96, it's a bolt action. Uh, but again, it's Remington 700 that's able to plop into this, but many of you guys call this an AWM or an L96, but anyway, I thought I'd tell you what it really is, but similar functionality. This is the Barrett M82 uh, A1. The game called it, this is back in uh, my first Call of Duty I ever played, called 4 Modern Warfare. They just called it the Barrett 50 Cal, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, the M82 A1. This is quite a beast of a rifle. There's really no point in shooting it today because I have so much content and we're like pretty close. Uh, so let me just resort to some old footage because I have so many videos with it. So uh, check this out. Firing. Firing. You see the sparks on that? Once again, I've got some old content on this one. Not old, actually just last week. But this is the M200 Intervention from shy -Tech from Modern Warfare 2. I remember I used to uh, be on high rise with the thermal optic and go to town on this as best I could and get that AC-130. But yeah, in real life, what I figured out is it weighs a ton. But I just made a video last week with it where we're shooting it just past a mile. So uh, check out some of that footage. I got it. You got it? It's, it's rocking. Nice. Yeah, you got that one straight that on. It. Yeah, you kind of see the shade it yep, casts. Yep, for sure. guys i think that's gonna do it for this video again uh did modern warfare guns in real life because i thought i had enough array but this a broad call of duty guns uh from throwing it back honestly if i think back uh why i got into guns i was into airsoft before that and i was into um the guns from video games if i really go back to my memory so i think i played a big role in why i take such interest in real firearms so uh thought this would be kind of an interesting video but hope you guys enjoyed that's gonna do it for this one subscribe if you haven't already because we've got some really fun stuff happening very soon here but that does it for this one thank you guys so much for watching catch you guys next time